All Granddad 114. 114 proof, 57% alcohol, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Yep, a lot of alcohol in that whiskey. I'm going to add three teaspoons of water to the dram. Sit with a little cover over it. Welcome to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the La Gloria Cubana Serie R. This is a, uh, oh, looks like about a five and a half, maybe, by. 50, 54, something like that. Pretty stout little cigar. And the cellophane. Very firm pack. Quite a few veins. A few bumps here and there. Has a dry, leathery feel. Uh, double cap. Yeah. Maybe not. That might be the way it's wrapped. Goes up under there. Might just be a single cap. Hmm. Anyway, it's a uh, a very mottled color. A lot of variations in the coloring there. It has some very dark spots, depending on how the light hits it. Sometimes very light spots, but uh, some barnyard. On the wrapper, basic tobacco. Mm, foot has some spice on it. Various baking spices, some cumin. A little bit of cocoa in there. Hint of cedar, some white pepper. Okay. Get my Cut her out. Quite a few stems in there sticking out even after I cut it with my Zycar XI3 which generally gives you a perfect cut but these stems are like darn tree branches that is a huge huge stem look at that sucker anyway pull the stem out and left a huge hole in the end of the cigar a good draw some leather more baking spices, uh, a little bit of like chili powder maybe. Oh, very nice. Maybe a hint of barnyard in there. Oh, 
All right. Well, we'll get get this thing toasted. See if my lighter's gonna work for me. He's been giving me a fit here lately. Oh, look at that! I've been tinkering with this thing for I don't know how long, trying to get it to work. thing about this burns matic torch it has another feature on it and you can get a soft flame from it I'm gonna turn that flame down a little bit don't need that much go to a soft flame here as it's not real windy I don't need uh, don't need the power of a torch out here today in fact, it's, it's hardly any wind at all. Just an ever so slight breeze. I think I find that regardless, I prefer a torch flame. I think it just, with the more concentrated flame, you have more control over getting the thing lit. So while it may use more gas initially, the fact that you're not playing around with it so much, probably break even in the end. Well, that cap is certainly unraveling. Look at this. It's just, look, it's flopping right off of there. See if I can. Oh, what a disaster. This thing's going to give me fit the whole way through. So that was indeed a single cap. They wrapped the cigar, uh, the, the wrapper leaf, all the way around and, and made a portion of the cap just using the basic wrapper. And then just capped it off with one little piece. So when you cut the cigar, this whole thing is coming undone. All right, guys. How about a little more attention to detail when you're. This this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This thing's gonna be nothing but trouble the whole time I'm smoking. I guarantee you that. This will continue to unravel until I've lost a portion of my cigar somewhere into the nub, I bet you. And I suppose I could clip the end of this off, let it go out, whatever, get my cigar glue, glue that back on, and then enjoy it another day, but you know what? I'm going to smoke it. Take a little extra care with it. Right off the bat, there's some strange flavors going on here. It's a powerful cigar. I tell you, the first first puff was almost like a uh, well, like a dirty dish rag. Oh, it was awful, which is surprising because I've had the Siri R uh, quite a few times before, and I generally haven't had any issues. Uh, I like this cigar. But uh, that was a little odd. Lots of pepper. Kind of dry on the, the smoke's kind of dry on the palate there. Pretty powerful. Upper end, of, upper end of medium, maybe lower end of full. That, that pepper is quite a blast. Burns a little bit uneven, you can see there. It doesn't seem to be a real big deal. It's, it's a good crisp burn line. It's just a little bit uneven. So, uh, I'll get 
somewhere in the first third, and I'll be back. Here we are, 20 minutes in. Still early in the first third. There's about, oh, not quite an inch, right about an inch maybe, worth of ash there. Been pretty consistent burning. A little bit of waviness, but it seems to be self-correcting. Nice crisp burn line. The, uh, where I snipped the end off, it hasn't given me any trouble. I've been real careful with it. Uh, I feared that it would constantly maybe stick to my lip or something as I pulled the cigar away on ravel, but that hasn't been an issue. So I'll uh, just continue to be careful and see what happens. I'd also like to mention that I used to always remove the cigar band before I would ever light the cigar. Uh, however, I have had a few instances where the uh, band was glued uh, onto the wrapper a little bit and uh, would damage the wrapper and made smoking uh, had some smoking issues, so uh, not necessarily particularly with this cigar, this this line of cigar, but some other cigars I've had. So I've uh, recently started just uh, leaving the band on. Sorry about that. The uh, the dogs were getting into this tree behind me here, getting into the pot and digging it up. There must be a chipmunk or a mouse or something in there. Pull down. Okay. Go. All right. Now, back to the cigar. The uh, flavor profile has changed a little bit. That blast of pepper is really mellowed down and smoothed out. There's still some pepper there, but it's just not. It, it doesn't have that kick or that bite. It's uh, it's pleasant. Picking up. Perhaps some light cardboard or like a heavy construction paper or something along those lines. Some other nondescript flavors, uh, having trouble picking them out. Um, there's definitely some complexity starting to build. So uh, I'll continue on and I'll get uh, somewhere into the second third and I'll be back. As far as the whiskey... The old granddad 114. Initially, I added three teaspoons of water to the dram. Still had a lot of alcohol burn and not a lot of other characteristics were coming through. So I added three more teaspoons. That brings it up to six. Still a lot of alcohol burn. And I added two more, so I'm now up to a total of eight teaspoons of water into this dram of of the old Granddad 114, and I'm just now getting bourbon-esque type characteristics. I smell a little bit of the oak. A little bit of sweetness. You can tell it's watered down a little bit, but there's still quite a bit of alcohol in there. You can definitely taste the bourbon. Not a whole lot of depth to this. It's not necessarily bad. Uh, you add the right amount of water uh, and it's uh, pretty decent. If you go too far, I I'd be hesitant to add much more water to this only because I'm already tasting that uh, it's being watered down. But uh, I'll let it sit for a while with a cover on it. Maybe I'll hold some of the, the scents in and see what I get. So, uh, that's my update on the old Granddad 114. Here right, I am, 40 minutes in. This is going to be a long cigar. I have well over an inch and a half worth of ash there. Starting to starting to bend a little bit, it's starting to flake ever so slightly. I'm going to go ahead and flip it off so I don't have any issues. There we go. Came off nicely. Picking up some more changes. I picked up a uh, subtle hint of 
some meatiness, a little bit of woodiness in there. Just now getting some metallic minerals, perhaps. Dry on the back of the palate. There's an overall, even though it's dry, there's an overall creamy feeling in the mouth. Okay. I'll get uh, past the halfway point, somewhere into the final third, and I'll be back. Here we are, just about an hour into it. I haven't had to ash it again yet, just the one time. I'll go ahead and remove the band at this point. The burn has remained cool. Nice band came off nicely. In the final third. Just entering the final third. There's still a good amount of cigar left there. Hasn't been a whole lot of changes. Despite the fact that it's raining today, it's quite damp out. Uh, at times it's rained pretty heavily. The scar is burning just fine, haven't had any issues. Hasn't tried to go out at all. The burn has remained pretty consistent. Fairly even burn, slight amount of waviness, but uh, it, it's self-correcting. Crisp burn line. Maybe picking up a little bit of a nicotine kick. Clean burning. No issues there. And I've been uh, fortunate enough that where it had unraveled and I, I rewound it there at the end, it, I've been real careful with it and haven't had any issues there. It's stayed together. Solid medium body, upper medium. There's time in there where it was really approaching the full body. There's some maybe green pepper in there. Not necessarily the vegetal character of it, but a little, little bit of green pepper in there. A little bit of leather. So I'll uh, continue on and get into the nub and see what happens from there. I added one more teaspoon of water to the uh, old granddad 114. It's really opened up the bourbon characters of this whiskey. Smell some vanilla, some more of the oak. Maybe some orange peel. There's a slight floral scent. With the right amount of water, this is really opening up nicely and become a very pleasant whiskey. Surprisingly, with the uh, further addition of the water, it uh, didn't seem to give it any more of a watered-down taste. The alcohol has overcome that, and the fact that it's opened up with other flavors, uh, it's not at all watery. much smoother. I've lost that alcohol burn, but uh, you can still definitely tell that there's plenty of alcohol in there. I'll show you something. I don't know if you can see it on here. Let's see. 
Uh, you probably can't quite see it. There. Right there. Those are what are called legs. That's the tensile strength from the alcohol. You swirl it in the glass. And the alcohol actually grabs a hold of the glass and then slowly drips down. That's an indication of the amount of alcohol. Not just in whiskey, in wine, in any alcoholic beverage. So it has a good tensile strength. Still plenty of alcohol in there. It's opened up nicely. It took nine teaspoons of water into a dram. I certainly wouldn't add any more. Turned out to be a nice whiskey. Good bourbon. Here we are about an hour and 40 minutes into the La Gloria Cubana Serie R. Just starting into the nub. Late in the final third, I did correct the burn. One side was way up, not, not burning way on one side. So I corrected the burn, and then the ash immediately fell off. I had almost two inches worth of ash there. Haven't been any real changes. Upper end of medium body here towards the nub. There's some mild white pepper. Smoke's not quite as dry as it has been. A little bit of leather in there. I will continue this on in through the nub, see if there are any changes, but I will end the review here. It's been a rather long review, and I apologize. Saw in this review saying that the La Gloria Cubana Serie R, 5.5 by probably 54 ring gauge. Had a dry leather feel on the wrapper. It was a single cap. When I nipped the, the end off, it unraveled quite a bit. I was able to rewind the, the end of it there and haven't had any issues since then other than the uh, one wonky burn that I relit. Ash is held on for inch and a half to two inches. Other than that one wonky burn, it was fairly even, fairly crisp burn line. Put out some, uh, the scents on the wrapper were a little bit of a uh, little bit of leather in there, some spices, some kitchen spices, some cumin. The smoking of the cigar uh, ranged from early on, right when I first lit the cigar, a strong blast of pepper that mellowed out once I got into the first third. There's been a little bit of pepper throughout the entire cigar, a little bit of leather in there. A little bit of uh, metallic minerals, a little bit of um, heavy paper uh, towards the uh, towards the line of like a like a, a light cardboard type of thing. Been an overall pleasant cigar. So I thank you for watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. See you next time.